What's up, you guys? Today, I have three DIYs that you can do with Dollar Tree items, thrift items, things you have in your home. So if that's something that you're interested in watching, let's get right to it. Okay, you guys, so I got this wreath, um, the wire wreath from Dollar Tree. So it was just a dollar. And I also picked up the garlands that they have. I end up using actually three of them to do this DIY. So we're just gonna wrap them all around, all three pieces. I try to speed up the video as much as I can um, for you guys so it's not a super long video. But I do, I did wanna show how I did it just a little bit. And this goes to show you that you can make something really cute and simple. There goes my first piece. Cute and simple with just two, three dollars. You know reefs are expensive and you can make it your own for just a couple of bucks. Or even if you have these on hand, a lot of the reefs I had, um, a lot of the garden I had on hand. There goes the second piece. So I bought two and then I had the extra one already in my shed so we're just gonna finish um, putting the garland all around so we can get to decorating everything on a budget you guys that is definitely me budget friendly cute ideas that you can make your own so here's the full wreath with all the garland. And now I'm gonna get the decor. I picked up the little bows from the Dollar Tree. If you haven't seen that haul, go check it out. And I was deciding whether to put the hat or the big bow on the top. But I'm just gonna throw these on. My buffalo check print. Um, bows look how cute so far you guys there goes my dog crying begging to go outside So here's the three little bows that I decided to go with and I made the decision to instead of put putting the big bow on top which you can do as well or you can find so many different things at the Dollar Tree or anywhere um, to put on top but I'm going with the buffalo check hat that I also got from the Dollar Tree so this DIY cost a few bucks, but it's nothing compared to buying one that you didn't make yourself. And this is the final look, you guys. I just took some bobby pins for your hair and pinned in the hat, but you can. And this is how it looks on the door hung up. I thought it came out very cute, unique, and yeah. Here is the thrifted reef that I got from one of my thrift um, stores. If you haven't checked that video out, go check it out. We're going to take this ugly bow. I also found this for a dollar at a moving sale. And yeah, we're going to come up with another reef that I want to hang out, hang up on my gate outside in the entrance. So I took the bow off and makes a big difference just without the bow but the reef needs some fluffing and things like that but in the meanwhile all those little hanging um, snowflakes the metal ones I'm gonna go ahead and just yank them off I'm gonna use a couple later but for now we're gonna get them out as you see we got them out I also drilled holes on the two sides to be able to tie it. Here is the chalk 
uh, spray paint. I got that from Hobby Lobby. We're gonna spray the, the whole metal part, the whole top um, white, but you can also do a distressed look. You can add other things to it. I just wanted to do all white, as you see here. And on the sides, I drilled in some holes so that we can put zip ties in them to hang them on the reef. So I'm gonna put the zip ties on each side. The sign is kind of heavy, so you want something sturdy. I know it looks a little crazy right now, but the finished look looks great. I'm taking the faux snow from the Dollar Tree and adding more to the reef. It already had some, but I wanted to spruce it up some more with the faux snow spray. So I'm gonna use my Dollar Tree Buffalo Check bow for the top part. I decided to um, to cut the edges there, the tips, so it doesn't overlap on the sign and you can read, let it snow. And look you guys, how it came out. Now the edges, I do cut off and cover. I take the, snow, the metal snowflakes and put them on the side. I hot glued it. And that's the finished look on the door. It covers up the zip ties as well. And I'm hanging this on my gate. And this is my third DIY with some wine glasses. I put some faux snow in it, the little brush trees from the Dollar Tree and some faux um, red flowers from the Dollar Tree. I did one and I'm gonna do the second one with you. So you're gonna hot glue the little um, brush tree onto a hard, like cardboard. I cut out the cardboard, the shape of the bottom of the cup, the rim of the cup rather. We're gonna fill it up with the little snow that they have. And then I'm gonna hot glue that bottom to the, the cardboard to the glass. And then we have us two beautiful um, candle holders that you made from wine glasses. And this is how it looks. I just picked two random candles just to show you guys. Of course, they don't match, but look how pretty. You can put this on your tablescape or anything. So I hope you enjoy this quick video.